recruit Sean Parkin um, from Jackson in Amador County. I'm recruit Ryan Louver, 23, born and raised in Danville. My name is recruit Tony Ott. I am 23 years old, grew up in Oakdale, California. I'm recruit Chris Reese. I'm from Santa Rosa, California. I'm recruit Matt Rodriguez. I grew up in Sanger, California. My name is Thomas Wildgoose. I live here in uh, Elk Grove, born and raised in uh, Temecula, California. Recruit Alex Everly. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Marinda, California. I'm recruit Nice. Grew up in Redding. Recruit Patrick O'Rourke. Grew up in Clayton, California. Recruit Ho. I'm born and raised in Stockton, California. Recruit Eli Ransdell. Born in Woodland, I grew up in Dixon. Recruit Stillman, born in Arbor, California. Recruit Mark Smith, Jr. I grew up in Roseville. Um, my name is Recruit Jason Vogelbacher uh, from Red Bluff, California. I'm Recruit Villalobos, hometown is Sacramento, California. Ryan Lummis, Recruit Lummis out of Red Bluff, California. My name is Recruit Elisa Bentley, born in Santa Clara, California, but raised in Valley Springs, California. training here at Consumnus. Um, it's very in detail. They go through every single protocol. Much more based on realistic scenarios and real-time events. You show up with your crew all the way through the call, loading them up, getting into the back of the ambulance, simulating 10-minute transport, uh, all treatments, a radio report, and even a turnover report at the hospital. We have a lot of amazing props here, a lot of great equipment that's new to me, and I've been getting a lot more hands-on on different tools, different assessment styles. You know, the, the cadre have a lot of experience between all of them, and they've been teaching me a lot of new assessment techniques and new, new ways just to do things, and it's been really helpful. Now, to me about Consumers Fire and what is unique and why I want to be here and stay here forever is everybody seems to have a vested interest in us recruits. I've had the pleasure to meet many of the line personnel and some of the training staff, and I can say with all honesty that they're some of the best, most interesting people that I've met in the fire service. They care about the people that they provide a service to. They care about their jobs, and they're always trying to get better. The best equipment around, um, state-of-the-art fleet, everybody that works here, absolutely loves to work here and it sounds like an awesome environment to be in. The people that work here are very approachable. They um, go out of their way to teach you, to talk to you. Just maintaining that professional image is, is huge for me. That is the organization that I've always uh, dreamed of working for. Just like a huge family and it doesn't really matter what you're doing, it, it really matters like who you're doing it with. I think that that's something that, that makes Kasuma's Fire unique. One of my favorite training days was um, when we burned down the Bradshaw house. Um, it was a really good learning experience. It's the first time I've got to um, burn in an actual house and not in a trailer or in a uh, burn tower. So I think that was really good experience and good knowledge and to be surrounded by a bunch of people who really know what they're doing. All the skills that we've been practicing, you know, how hose management, hose deployment, nozzle control, moving through a structure, reading smoke, how to direct a fire stream, how to locate the fire, how to search for victims. And it was all done, obviously, real time with real fire. Dear future recruit, dear future recruit, dear future recruit, be ready to work. Work hard. Know that it's gonna be hard. You're gonna have failures. You know, give it your all. Make mistakes and learn from it. Every single day, no matter what, be eager to learn. Come with a strong work ethic, and the academy staff will ensure that you're successful throughout the entire academy. And trust the process. 
you know, you're going to be showing up early and you're going to be leaving late. You're going to have very early mornings and late nights. Every task means something. What, no matter how small it is, you need to pay attention to detail. And know that you can push yourself further than you ever thought you could. Um, make sure that you're on top of your studying. Um, that's one of the most important parts. You need to come here prepared. I definitely recommend you find a fine balance between uh, balancing your lifestyle with family as well as academy. My biggest advice to you is to never give up. There's going to be challenging times no matter what you do. And no matter what the situation is, there's always a way to get through it. And as long as you're willing to put everything you have into it and learn and grow from it, you'll be successful. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. You're going to wake up some mornings and, you know, it's really going to be a struggle. You know, some days it's going to be rough. Some days you're going to get kicked down and you just got to get back up and keep climbing and remember why you're here. If you're out there and if you're listening, I'd say my best advice for all of you would be to come to this agency knowing that you hit the jackpot, that you're here, you're incredibly lucky, you're one of the select few, it's not easy to get here, but this is uh, the big leagues, this is an extremely professional department, and the standards are incredibly high. This is the best job, and it's six months of hard work, and that six months is going to pay off for a 30-year career. Ah, 91! What are we going to do?